Hello all. In today's video, we are going to focus on the Cypress interview questions and answers. So basically, uh, the most asked question is how you should define the Cypress as a testing tool or what is meant by Cypress. So basically, uh, Cypress is a JavaScript based front end testing tool and it's been written in a node.js this particular tool is helpful in executing the test in the browsers so uh, it is help uh, it will be helpful to make the entire testing process more reliable and much easier that is what the main purpose of using this particular cypress as a testing tool or cypress testing tool then the next question is what is basically the cypress and what is the purpose of using it so basically as we have already seen the cypress is an open source java script testing framework which makes uh, uh, very easier and more efficient for a uh, developer to write and run the automated test for the web application it provides the comprehensive set of tools and features to enable the uh, particular tester or developer to create run and debug the test very quickly and easily so basically this cypress is a testing framework which uh, which has some challenges means which address or which overcome some challenges which faced while uh, testing the mo modern web application so it has provided the several advantages over the uh, other testing frameworks which are available in the market like uh, it has the built-in network traffic control so uh, uh, which lets you to uh, intercept and modify the HTTP request and response then the ability to debug the test cases uh, directly in the browser using uh, the dev tools or time to uh, uh, time for debugging enables the enables to step through the test run and identify the issue so uh, basically this Cypress has overcome the whatever will be the disadvantages uh, which are having in the testing framework which are already having in the market so uh, basically this Cypress is very useful and reliable if you want to test uh, the uh, means execute the test cases in the browser then how you should install the Cypress so basically uh, uh, you need to install the node first once you install the node then you can install the Cypress with a command like n pm install cypress is the only command by using that you can install the cypress but first uh, make sure you have installed the node then what is exactly the cypress cli so basically the cypress cli is useful or it allow you to run the cypress test uh, from the command line uh, like feature it is used in the pipeline to execute the cypress test case it also provides the flag control and option for the cypress as a test behavior then what what exactly an environment variable in the cypress so basically the environment variables in the cypress means whose value are determined at operating system level and independent of the application or framework means that environment then what are the different advantages of cypress so basically the different advantages of cypress are like cypress uh, uh, you can say it works with the internal ajax call and single page application then this tool can make easily to take a means it allows you to easily take a screenshot so then uh, it can run the test and execute the command on the browser and it has the capability of executing commands easily and faster as compared to the other tools which are based on the selenium so these are some advantages then what testing frameworks are included in cypress so basically the cypress comes with the assertion libraries uh, like uh, uh, chai mocha however we are unable to use test ng or j unit in the cypress then how can we dynamically update the base url in cypress is the mostly asked question so basically the simple answer is using cli command or we can alter the base url in the we can alter the base CRL dynamically so the answer is using CLI command then what are the Cypress preserve cookies so basically the by default Cy uh, Cypress clears the cookie after each test to avoid removing cookies use the Cypress preserve cookie option so what happens when we run the test through a Cypress it automatically removes the cookie but if you want to keep it 
you can use the preserve cookie option then what are the browsers that cypress supports so basically the chrome firefox edge chromium electron are the some browsers which are supported by cypress what are the disadvantages of cypress so some disadvantage like it does not support the multiple tab at a time then uh, it only supports the javascript it only available on the web testing then you cannot use multiple instances of the browser simultaneously then cypress does not support a safari browser or internet explorer so these are the some disadvantages of cypress which selector does cypress support so basically the tool only supports css selector by default however you can utilize the third party plugin so access the xpath selector then can you define the cypress architecture so basically behind this tool uh, uh, this particular the node server is the process right the main is a node server so the node process and cypress uh, consistently synchronize and communicate and execute the task on behalf of each other means not just that the cypress also operate on the network layer or by altering or reading the web traffic simultaneously so cypress in modifying everything coming from the browser and in addition to this the tool also become the capable of changing code that could inter uh, interface with the capability to automate the entire browser so basically this is what the architecture or the uh, it the process of cypress then what are the components of the Cy cypress which are the components of the cypress so basically the cypress test runner is the main component so uh, the cypress test runner is a test runner that built on the top of web driver and node.js that allows you to write run and debug the test case in the real time uh, so uh, basically in a test it is an interactive runner which further help you to uh, see the command and execute the same while viewing the application under test then the second component is app preview so as a net uh, name uh, uh, itself suggests that it helps in seeing the test while executing the command then the next component is test status it assists in displaying the summary of what test is in progress and which is failed and passed then the next component is a command log so what happens in command log or it it showcases the command log while executing the test then url preview it display the url of test and uh, it will helpful in tracking the entire url route then uh, viewport sizing it help in the setting the app viewport size for testing various layout then the cypress application programming interface that is api so basically this component is set of javascript command that allows you to interact with the browser an application under test then cypress command line interface that is cli so the cypress cli is a command line tool that allow you to run the test from terminal and perform other tasks like uh, installing or updating cypress managing configuration option and generating a report then how to check the default configuration in cypress so basically to check the default configuration in cypress you, you must open the cypress.json file which is located in the root of your project so mm, then you, uh, you can see the default configuration where you can find a default configuration of your cypress then uh, the next main question is uh, is cypress bdd or ttd so basically the cypress is a javascript based end to end testing framework built on the top of mocha so this feature javascript test frameworks runs on, uh, runs on and in the browser which making the asynchronous testing simple and convenient it also pairs with the javascript testing framework using bdd or tdd so assertion libraries and in browser then how can you differentiate cypress from selenium this is mostly asked question so basically the cypress support just typescript and javascript language uh, and selenium supports all major languages like c sharp python java ruby javascript and many more 
Selenium support all major browsers and Cypress supports just few of them like Cypress is does not supporting the Internet Explorer and Safari which Selenium does and Selenium configuration uh, configuration is difficult and Cypress you can find ready to use framework then what are the primary features of uh, Cypress so basically this tool can run the test and execute the commands on the browser thus tests are much faster and less flaky it can take a snapshot of test after that executing every step this way you don't need any additional plugin then the next is is mocha used in the cypress cypress has expanded mocha and use its bdd syntax for unit and integration testing then how can uh, i click on the button in the cypress so basically the click function is used to click the element in the cypress then uh, the uh, some list the some cypress function that will be helpful for traversing dom so here are some cypress function that are useful for traversing the dom like cy.get which is used to select one or more dom element then cy.contain which is used for uh, select element based on their text content then c uh, cy dot uh, parent to select the parent element of given element then cy dot children to select the child element of given element then cy dot next to select the next sibling element of given element then uh, can uh, i use the j unit or test ng in cypress so yes or what is the testing framework uh, so uh, you cannot use the JUnit or test engine in Cypress which comes with the Mocha and Chai assertion libraries which testing framework does Cypress support so basically the Cypress support the JavaScript testing framework then what do you mean by hooks in the Cypress so basically the Cypress you can read the file using cy.read file cy.fixture function then uh, by using this you can read the file then next is how can i read the files in the cypress so basically uh, we have seen the by using cy.read file and cy.fixture then what do you mean by cypress in cli cypress cli so cypress cli is helpful or you can say for offering the capability of running the cypress test in command line and it also offers the flag control and options for the cypress test behavior then how can you use the slip in the cypress so basically the cy.wet command can be used to pause the test or the specified amount of time then could you describe the cypress folder structure yes so when you install the cypress it will create a recommended folder structure that will be helpful because of uh, different folder folders like fixture so fixture is a collection of data that can be used throughout the testing process then integration is a main folder where you will keep all your tests then you can write the js jsx coffee or c cjax then plugin it has own index.js file support folder contain the two files that is command js and index js so the folder main four folders are fixture integration plugins and support how could you describe the cypress folder structure uh, so here uh, uh, then how you are ha how you handle the timeout in the cypress test so basically timeout can occur in the cypress tech test for variety of reason so uh, such as slow network request or he heavy computation so here you can uh, handle this situation by using the default command timeout option or uh, cypress page load timeout configuration option that allow you to set a maximum amount of time and cypress will allow the page to load before failing the test then the last question is what is the testing framework that cypress includes so basically the cypress comes with the assertion libraries like mocha and chai however we can't use the junit or test ng so such a minor inquiries can also be useful in this uh, so this all the minor uh, questions or you can say the uh, these are the some queries or the some basic points which are very useful for you while preparing for the cypress uh, point for interview preparation so please uh, 
do go through the all the videos which we have uploaded on our, our channel and please do, do comment on which point you want next video thank you all